Hello friends, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISPSolutions.com. This is my second video on Salesforce integration with Informatica and in this video I am going to explain that how can we integrate data between two Salesforce org. Recently I got a requirement from my client that they want to transfer all their data. They want to migrate all the data from one Salesforce org to another to a new one and for that they would be looking for a solution which can help for a long uh, which could be help them for a long duration and uh, the solution which I suggested them that could be Informatica because Informatica is a complete ETL tool in that uh, of before loading data into a new org, a new org we can perform some transformation we can make some transform we can apply some transformation to that data so therefore i decided to share the same so solution with all of you so let's begin now before moving on to this so the first thing you could have you should have at least uh, two subscription of salesforce and one informatica cloud registration which i have already received which i have already configured so as you can see here i have got an informatica cloud so i have already registered and i have been session timed out because i was inactive for more than 30 minutes so i can click on log into informatica cloud and i simply logged in into it so let me log in into my informatica cloud first and let me show you the interface how the interface looks like of informatica now as for once you registered on informatica and you logged in you would be redirected to either overview or task wizard or design or mod any one of them so it's basically when you will be registering first time you would be redirecting to the overviews and in overview you will be you need to click on skip ahead so when i click on skip ahead we have prepare content integrate run and monitor administrator and so on one very important thing which we need to keep in mind that before moving on to the next step before uh, setting up connection between two org you need to download and install the secure agent basically secure agent is a lightweight program that informatica cloud needs to integrate and manage the data this secure agent would be required by informatica so this need to be installed mandatory on this system i have already installed the secure agent and uh, before moving on to that we need to first start that secure agent so let me start that secure agent so i'll search for that secure agent so once you once we configure secure agent on our desktop uh, we have informatica cloud secure agent and uh, i would be running as administrator so i run it as an administrator yes now when i run it as an administrator it will ask for info it will give you a window which says the secure agent is not running or running so we can see the status of secure agent because i have already configured this earlier so it's already running up and you can see the secure agent is already up and running successfully if you are on any proxy environment so you need to set you need to configure your proxy server information anytime if you want to restart the secure agent for any configuration or any after any configuration or changes we can click on restart to stop we have an option for stop so the secure agent is already running it's already working perfectly fine so we are not going to follow that step we directly move on to connection and we are going to configure two connections one config one connection is the source and another is the target source connection basically source connection is from the source organize source salesforce org and the target would be target salesforce org so either you can configure connection before synchronizing the data or we can configure the connection we can set up connection within synchronizing the data so we can use the synchronizing data and uh, we can use the synchronizing task we can create a new task here so click on new if you look at here the various steps are coming 
at the top so we have definition source target data filters field mapping and schedule source would be the source org configuration target would be the target org definition data filters uh, while transferring the data from source to target if you want to apply any data filters we can set the data configure the data filters in, in the, within this section this is for mapping the fields from one org to another org and finally we can run instantly or we can schedule it for later so we'll be going to see both the things so first of all i can i design a name and i write sync data between source and target and the task operation will be i would be using upsert update or insert so if we have any existing data it will update else it will insert the new data click on next now when we click on next it will move on to the source and in source it is asking for a connection so as you can see here we don't have any connection configured so we don't have any pre-existing connection so we can click on new to create a new connection so i'll give a name as source source sql connection type will be salesforce now while we are connecting to salesforce we would be requiring the uh, we need to choose a type so i choose informatica cloud hosted agent that's the same hosted informatica cloud secure agent so that's the same and salesforce connection type would be standard so if we select standard we need to provide the username password and security token so those who all are familiar with Salesforce, they know that security token is mandatory if we are trying to access the Salesforce data out of Salesforce. And to know how to reset security token, you can visit the video, uh, my previous video in, uh, in which I have explained, which, which I have mentioned that how to reset the security token. So let me provide the username and password and then we will go for, then we'll provide the security token as well. So that's the username of my source org password and security token and click on test for connecting it for testing the connection. Whether all the details are correct or not. So we got the message that test for this connection was successful and click on OK. So it will create a new connection and store within connection and later on if you want to edit the connection we can click on edit and connection connections and we can edit that connection. Then the source type would be single and the source object would be account. So I would like to move my account data from source org to the account object on the target org. So I select account. It will give a data preview and we can display the source field in alphabetical orders or include archived or deleted rows in the source of so any records we have deleted and moved to recycle bin. Uh, it will extract those records as well. So these are the records you can see we have these are the records in my source and I want to move the same records onto my target org as well. So click on we can save it and click on next. Now on next step we need to again select a, we need to create a new connection because that is a uh, sorry for the mistake I made it source SQL it would be source Salesforce but anyway uh, we need to have a new connection so I click on new connection and this time I give name as target Salesforce connection again same steps connect to Salesforce using Informatica cloud agent standard and we need to provide the we need to provide the target username and password so my target username is this password is this and security token is so that's my security token let's click on test to test the connection so connection is successful click on ok and uh, again we need to select the target object so the target object is account because i want to move the data from the source account source object uh, account from the source org to the account object and to the target org. So these are the pre-existing records we have in target org or account object in target org. So we move on to next. 
Now, in the next step, we can apply data filters. So, would you like to include all the 100 rows or process only the first 100 rows or we can, or any data filters you want to apply so we can have data filters like from account, we can say where the account uh, account type is specific, account ID is something like this or and so on. So, any filters you want to apply, you can apply else. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to apply any filters. So, I move on to next. Click on next and in next, Mapping is very important. So as you can see here, all the mapping has already been done. It's a pre-existing mapping in both the uh, and both the org. So you do not need to do mapping. But anything, anytime, if you want to do the mapping again, you can you can clear the mapping, or we can clear the mapping and we can map it manually one by one. Like this account ID, uh, we want to map account ID. Then we want to map the name. So I map account name with account name. Then we want to map annual revenue with annual revenue. So I want to map annual revenue with annual revenue over here. So we map this annual revenue with annual revenue. But in this case, because both the objects are the standard objects we have in Salesforce Org, so the fields are same. So we can go for auto match, and all the fields will be mapped automatically. And uh, to clear the, and if you want to apply some filters, see, uh, mapping can be cleared by clicking on this option, shipping street, you see the mapping has been removed. And to apply some formula, to apply some functions, we can click on functions and we can apply some additional functions. Functions can be applied for validations. So the validations can be applied. And finally, we click on next and we can schedule it. So there is an option, do not run this task as a schedule. Run this task on schedule so we can specify the schedule when uh, we can schedule it uh, based on the time zone, based on which time zone you want to schedule and repeat. You want to repeat it for hourly or daily or weekly or on monthly basis. So we can schedule this. Uh, or if you, and if you want to run this instantly, we, uh, we click on this first option. Do not run this task on our schedule. We want to run it. Uh, we don't we want to run it at once. And any email notification will be required. So use the default email notification option for my org that the record has been created if any uh, notifications are there if any workflows has been set up so that notification will be worked on uh, on the records which we register from here so now we are if you are talking about the transformation so transformation can be done in field mapping so in, in field mapping we can add some actions we can apply some transformations here click on next to run the process now we can click on save and run or I can say simple save and close and we want, okay, so we need to select the environment, definitely uh, Informatica Cloud Host Agent and we say save and close. So a new task has been added within data synchronization task, but it is not started yet. We can download the mapping XML if it is required. We can delete this task. We can run this task now. We can make a copy of this task or the, we can edit this task if it is required. Now let me, let me take you to the connection first to show you that the two connections we have configured in sync data synchronization that would be added here the target sql and the, uh, the source sql and the target salesforce so we'll go to data synchronization and we have this task and we can click on run and as soon as you click on run your process will start and it will con uh, your process will complete and it will migrate the data it will integrate the data from one org to another org so let's me let me begin this let me start this process and we'll see the output. So once the process is completed, it will it will give you a, it will drop a message that the process has been completed successfully. And now we can check and validate whether the process is completed or not. So now let me log in into my target org and uh, verify whether the record inserted or not. So so I'm on the target org now. That's the org. That's the target org and uh, let's go and have a look whether record inserted or not. So I click on new this week and these are the record which has been inserted now. There are 17 records which we inserted now. So these are the same 17 records which has been migrated from which have been integrated from the first org from the source org. So that's how we can integrate the data between two Salesforce org by Utica.
So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.brstsolutions.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more details about more de and more information on Salesforce and integration. You can connect with us for the customized training as well as for consultant plus job support. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.